groupies. Welcome back to Former Therapy. I am the video channel producer. This is the culture study. You can call me PD. And on this channel, we check out music videos. I offer my input as a filmmaker and video producer. And today we're going to be checking out I'm on Fire by Unjiwon. It's called Purnabang in Korean. So Purnabang doesn't translate to I'm on fire. Those are two different titles. Brunabang, the best way to put it is like the moth that's attracted to the flame. So the term specifically when used for people are people who are kind of like a little bit crazy, who are attracted to danger, who are attracted to kind of doing something crazy. The wild cards. So that is what that means. Now it features Blue D. No idea who that is, but we'll find out in this video. Now, before we get into this video, if you like what we do, if you enjoy these videos, please consider supporting us on Patreon. If you head over there at the lowest tier, you have early access to reaction videos. And at different levels, we have variety show reactions, live stage reactions, uh, J-pop stuff. So please consider supporting us. Patreon.com slash therapy link is in the description. Now let's get into this video. This is your form of therapy. Oh, I'm already digging it. I like the vibe. I wonder who the female vocalist is, because I don't think it's Blue D, is it? Interesting. So the the guitar hook that you hear in the background, it kind of has like a Western sound to it. Kind of like that old traveling, wandering cowboy type of sound. Dude, Unji One is like, he's such he's such a classic. His rapping style has not changed at all. Like, you see the way, like, he doesn't rap really fast. He really takes his time. He grooves with the music and the beat. He really enunciates his words. It's a very, very, um, 90s, early 2000s style uh, for rappers. Very, very common style. All right, so this is probably a blue D. Who is that female voice? Interesting. I have a lot of things to say about that. 
Okay, first of all, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, 119 is the emergency speed dial for first responders. So 911 is the number we use in the US, 119 is actually Korea's. So just wanted to clear that up if it wasn't obvious. Man, ah, I don't know if I wanna talk about it first or if I wanna watch it first. Let's watch it first. Yeah, let's watch it again first. I guess also we could talk about it and watch it. All right, let's stop here real quick. Just already this style is like very much a 90s inspired hip hop style. I mean, this is like, this is Korean hip hop in the 90s. Korean hip hop in the 90s, the rap flow was a little bit slow. I mean, depending on the rapper, but this was a common style where it's not like super fast as it is nowadays. It's like definitely a lot more grooving. They definitely took their time and they really over enunciated their words. And even just down to the fashion, right? If you look at the backup dancers with the hats and the bandanas sort of like a la street style one guy in the back that's like setting the roof on fire literally he's got the button-up shirt look again also an la street style you know a lot of hip-hop culture was very derived of the la west coast hip-hop scene especially korea they adapted to that a lot and unji won his look is really interesting. He's wearing a hoodie, but he only puts his head through the neck hole and then he doesn't wear the rest of the hoodie. He just kind of like wears it almost like, you know, when those rich people at the tennis clubs, they have like the thing that ties around them. It's like a sweater. And then, you know, their name is like Chad or something. And they wear like board shorts and they call their dads Papa, you know, he's sort of doing that. But with a hoodie, Jesus Christ, I haven't seen this in like such a long time. The white t-shirt he's wearing is like four times way too big for him. And that was a common style in the 90s just wearing super oversized large white t-shirts oh man even his pants are really baggy too Okay, so in the translation of the lyrics, he says, I will light a fire in your heart and jump right into it. That's what I mean when I say that Purnabang is like the moth attracted to the flame. That phrase Purnabang in Korean is specifically used for people who just recklessly jump into wild and dangerous situations. So, you know, he's saying, I'm going to jump into that fire. That's why he's a Purnabang. All right, so this setup that Bluey is in, it actually reminds me of the music video set from Tupac and Dr. Dre's California Love. It reminds me of like that dome setup they have. Theirs is much bigger, but I feel like this could have honestly drawn inspiration from that. Like I said before, very derived of West Coast hip hop culture. So this could be a reference to that. <laughs> I love like the blue flames that they're actually incorporating. That's really cool. I'm 
the overall music video's color palette is like very orange, very warm. So to have like this brief scene where there's just like a little bit of diversity in the color with the blue color, it's nice. I love this sound that goes wah, wah, wah. that that is just, it's just really epic. So growing up in the 90s, especially influenced by not just West Coast LA hip hop music, but Asian, specifically Korean hip hop music, this feels like a very nostalgic trip. That was really fun. I like it. I like to see that Unji Won kind of hasn't changed. I never really listened to Chek's Kiss, which is the group that he was in, but I actually listened to his solo stuff afterwards. So Unji Won's style has never really changed. He kind of likes that very Western sound to his hip hop music. Music, and I mean Western, I mean like Cowboys and Triet. So this is actually not a unfamiliar sound from him, but I really like it. It was really cool. I feel like he's kind of offering something that you don't hear a lot from K-pop nowadays. So I got to give props to that. The music video, very cool. Not exactly a really high budget production. I mean, it's a high budget production, but compared to a lot of other YG stuff, I feel like this isn't really like a full scale promotion that they might be doing for Unji One because the music video is definitely held back a little bit, but still really cool. You can never really go wrong with fire. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of The Culture Study. Hope you learned something today. Let me know what you thought about the song in the music video in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this and you'd like to support us, consider heading over to Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash formatherapy for as little as $2 a month. You get early access to reactions just like this. And for different level tiers, we have drama reactions, variety stages, live stages, and all sorts of stuff. However, if you don't want to support us monetarily, we understand. Why don't you consider hitting like down below right there. Leave a comment while you're there. It helps us out with YouTube's search algorithm. Also, if you're new, uh, consider clicking subscribe. You want to see more videos? Hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, be notified when we upload a new video, and go ahead and check out our other videos over here.